Hey everyone, it is me Fashion Coder and today we are going to be going over the code for the Wait V2 project. So it is just called Wait, but they are coming out with a version 2 that they're going to officially transition over to once uh, Pulse Chain launches actually. So before we get started, make sure you hit the like and subscribe if you like content like this or want to see more crypto content and let's dive in. Okay, so I'm on their main website right here. And as we can see, you can come in, you can look at the white paper, you can look at all these different things. I did make a video on what all of this is. Um, so I'll link it right up here. And you can go learn about all the things that they have coming out with it. Essentially, though, what it is, is it incentivizes people that are waiting for Pulse Chain. And you have to have sacrificed for, I think there's six, dif six different coins. Um, so one of those six, and then you can claim the weight tokens from that. But we're going to go into the code. All right, so I am on their project right now. But if we actually just go back out to, oh, let's see, I want to go into this actually. If we come into right here, we can see that they have all this code right here. We can also come in and see their different audits. They have an audit for their version one as well as their version two. So that's really great. Both of them have been audited. Um, the reason why they moved to towards a version two is because they wanted to add in that immutability and everything that goes along the, the lines of that. I do want to mention something about their code and they're very transparent about this, but it is not 100% um, locked down. And the reason why is because they do not know the date the Pulse Chain is going to launch. And so they have to be able to go in at some point and add in that date to be able to stop the claiming. So it makes total sense. And within their version two, they actually have, um, a specific manager function that allows that to be the only thing that gets touched. So they, they've gone in and they've even fixed it even more, but they're very transparent about it. And so you do know that that is something that they have. Okay. So this is their main weight to, uh, file. You can tell that it's in solidity by the dot soul. And if we scroll down, we can just start going through their code. So they have a little bit over, I think it's like, 350 lines of code or something, a little bit over 300. So it's honestly not that bad. Um, and as we come in here and look, we can tell that they have just all these variables and all programs typically start out with all these different variables. But yeah, so they have these variables, they have different address right here. Um, it talks about their midnight bonus and claiming for that. And I actually do want to at least go over what that is because it does show up a lot here in the code. So what is the midnight bonus? Um, so it's kind of like big payday that happened with Hex. Um, so they allowed for Bitcoiners to get free Hex, but only 3% did actually end up getting it. So what happens with weight is you can come in and claim it, but they expect people not to come in and claim it. And so the people that don't end up claiming it will go to this midnight bonus. And then the people that did claim it will be able to get a percentage of that bonus. So when we see midnight bonus, that's what it's talking about. And we see it right here, right off the bat, line 20. And it honestly might even be higher, but line 20. So this is where we come in, they come in, <laughs> excuse me, and set all these different um, variables. We're just gonna keep scrolling. Okay, and then we get here. So I love comments. If you've ever watched a code review of mine, I always read the comments because there's a reason why they commented. So this function right here, it's called claimed amount V2. So total amount of midnight bonus each person got per sack. Not sure if we actually need to store this. We technically already know the math. Okay, when I read this before, when I was preparing for this video, I just love comments like that because not sure, like <laughs> that's totally a comment that I would end up writing. So I just love that for them. All right, and then come in here and they end up doing this function where it's like setting the total number of people that are eligible and then also the timestamps for each of these. And so if you go in and look, if you haven't ever heard of this project before, you have had to have sacrificed for one of these. So Pulse, Pulse X, Liquid Loans, Hurry Cash, uh, 
genius venture or fiat or internet money and that's how you're able to claim it okay so they just go in and set those values and they set them to these different sack times and then the total people then if we scroll down functions can only be called by the manager okay this is what i was talking about so they do have their immutable code there is this one part that is not immutable um, but like I said, they're so transparent about it and it, you can even see it right here. So they have the manager function um, and it's required that the manager, so only the manager can call this function if something else is calling it, it won't let you. And then functions uh, can only be called after midnight bonus is called. So they do have that specific um, Boolean. So Boolean is a true or false. And so as you can see right here, it's if it's true. So minting weight has been turned off, go claim the unclaimed weight. So they have these different checks in place that if somehow it gets called, which it shouldn't, but somehow it gets, if it gets called, then it will move on. Okay, makes weight V2 divisible. So like these are just like different math functions and stuff. Amount of people that minted weight V1 for each sack. So they will eventually completely move over to v2 and they allow for people to move um i think it's going to be the first 30 days if i remember correctly of after pulse chain launches to be able to move from version one so wait to wait v2 and then total amount of midnight bonus shares for each sec let's see wait v1 balance of message sender so these kind of just get into like the weeds of things that we just don't really care about at the moment number of days pass since midnight bonus is called slash pulse chain launches so this i'm sure is called somewhere down below where this is a value that is needed okay and then the midnight bonus so this is that within uh the manager function so function that turns minting of midnight bonus on sent sets the amount of unclaimed weight for each sack sets the time the function is called okay so what happens is pulse chain will launch they'll go in they'll put that date so then no one can claim any more of the you know of the token and then they'll see for the midnight bonus how much is left over and then distribute it um towards all of the people that did end up claiming mint or not mint weight <laughs> And so that's what, that's what all this code is right here. And it's what? It's like 20 lines of code. Like that's not bad. Okay. Eight here can just mean all. It's good that we have this control over the data now. We can format this however that we want. Interesting. Okay. And then this is mintable unclaimed weight. Okay. So what I was just saying that will be distributed and then mintable all unclaimed weight. So this, I bet these are called up here. Okay, I don't see it here, but we can tell that they are grabbing what we saw above of the total unclaimed people as well as the sack, or yeah, the total people there. Nice, all right. And then if we scroll down more, <laughs> We will find other functions like this right here. It looks like it's um, a math function. So current percent. And then the current amount of weight V2 user would get for their weight V1. Okay, so this is when you move over. So as you can tell, like there's just a lot going on within these very specific things. So this goes through an if statement. So if the days have passed are less than 11. Oh, and then... The, Okay, so when you claim, it's the first 10 days, you get like a one-to-one -one ratio. So every one weight token, you get like the same weight V2. But then as the days pass, like it's not the same. So let's see, currently get 100% on day 11, 50% on day 21. And I think it goes down, this is, I think it's 10%. Nope, that's probably not right. But it goes down percentage-wise throughout the month. Okay. Functions that swap weight V2 for 
weight v1 for weight v2 based on user balance days passed since launch okay so this is just more code that goes along the lines of that and as you can tell most of these things are just going to happen right when pulse chain launches and this is something that doesn't even it, it will never be ran again like there's never going to be a midnight bonus again okay function that returns total current midnight bonus sweet so it comes in here calculates all of that out okay and then this comes in and updates the total people with accurate numbers based on new and improving eligibility databases i think that's a smiley face so cute <laughs> thanks for adding that um, so that will go in and just show that it's who has been claiming already and then that's the code like that that's the 353 lines of code just just right there if we come back in to contracts so we can see that this is the original weight and i can't remember if i've done a video on this or not but this goes through and just like does those functionality type things like the minting of it and all of that so that's pretty straightforward and i don't think i've actually even opened this one weight underscore stuff okay those are probably just oh it's an interface so those are definitely being interfaced with and then i want to go in and check out the audit okay so i think that's an okay here's weight v2 okay so they were audited by solid proof and you can come through and check this all out if you're interested in going deeper within that yeah i it's a very interesting uh contract let's come into the readme we didn't go through this <laughs> oh let's see it's about their security audit and stuff usually i go through the readme first <laughs> Yeah, so there you have it. There is the code for the weight token. And like I said earlier, if you're interested in seeing more in depth of what V2 is going to be just like from um, an idea standpoint, feel free to go watch that video. It, if you click the I up here, it will come up there. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye.